Hi there everyone, welcome to part 2 of the Carp Master tying spinner rigs and for this session I'm going to be using a Kamakura wide gate. As I've explained previously, all the boom sections are always the same for me in two different lengths, either the 7.5 inch or the 5.5 inch. Now for this exercise I'm only going to be focusing on the 7.5 inch and you'll notice that on every single occasion that you see me cut the line, I always cut it at an angle. It just helps me slide the crimps onto the line a lot easier. So I take out two crimps. To create the big boom, or the big loop section, I slide the line through the barrel and I slide it through the barrel on the other side, like that. Then I crimp it. Always make sure that, your, that the two barrels are sitting upright in, in the crimping tool. Then I cut off the tag end, like that. For the next part, I take the crimp, I slide it through, I take my spinner swivel, and you'll notice that I've already cut the, the loop of the ring off. Now I push it through the barrel again, like that. And let me just quickly get my measurement right. I want to create a seven and a half inch section. So let me just uh, pull on that tag in there. There we go. Now I just manipulate the size of that little loop there. And I want that free movement. Again, put it in the crimping tool. Flatten it. Cut off the tag end. And let me just stretch it again. I normally pull it about three times and that also just straightens my boom section. There we've got it, We're ready for the next stage. The next stage of this exercise is to pull out the hook from the packet and you'll notice it's got a wax layer on. So I'm just going to slide that wax layer off and there you expose that incredibly sharp hook then i take my kicker and i've selected a yellow one because i'm going to be doing the snowman presentation where there's a yellow bait on so again i just work this kicker over the hook like that and then I take my micro rig ring swivel and I hook it onto the hook like that. And the last stage of this part is to put the hook bead on. So I turn the hook on its back and I just work it with my nail. And there we have one part completed. Now there's a trick to this as well, because you can make up quite a few like this already. So if your hook point is blunt, you just pop this 
kicker back up, slide the, uh, the swivel off, and then slide it back on again. So if I put this one down and I want to use a crank, there it is, I can just slide it back on. Now, all I now need to do is take my spinner swivel that's on the, on the boom and hook it over the hook like that and pull the kicker over like so. Now it's just a matter of just working that hook bead and there we have it, ready for the bait presentation. The next part of this rig, which is absolutely integral, is the putty. I do not fish a spinner rig without putty. It is just so important. So I just mold it around my crimp like that. And the purpose of that is if the bay if the hook would lie flat and the fish would suck it up, it just creates that little bit of resistance so that when the the, the pressure from the fish sucking the bait into its mouth and and he and, and it just releases that pressure, the hook point falls into the bottom lip. And the hook arrangement or the hook ups are so incredible. Now comes the biggest trick up my sleeve. I'm going to take the bottom bait and I take my my empty cutter and I enter the bait like that and I just turn the bait in a circular movement to cut a little cavity. Let me just there we go. And that cavity is just big enough for my pop-up to sit inside. A beautiful, beautiful way of presenting a snowman rig really effectively. Now let's put it on the on the hook. Put the bait on the baiting needle. Let me get a piece of floss. Cut a piece of floss off. And I slide it through the swivel like with all the others. And I fold it back so it's, it's pretty much like that. Now I grip it there and I slide the baits on. And you'll notice that I didn't put a floss cap on this time because I'm actually regarding the fact that you might not have a floss cap when you are fishing and you actually can let me just cut that off there we go now if you do not have a floss cap burning the floss just like that also works really well and I've dabbed it now that is a beautiful snowman presentation ready to catch the fish of your dreams and there you have a perfect snowman presentation on a kamakura white cape with a yellow kicker just look at that give it a bash